folds and sell sire of the creases. All right. The hypothesis is the same thing as pituitary and this suspended vital stalk called the infundibulum. Unfortunately, that's halfway down your list. To see the gyruses that I have there, it's only really good on one side of this brain. Here's the precentral gyrus. Here's the postcentral gyrus. And in between is the central sulcus. Uh, um, is it pre? Pre Post. is in the front. How do we know? The, the... Well, here's the frontal. Here's the front of the brain. Here's the frontal lobe. Cerebellum's at the back. So precentral gyrus, postcentral gyrus, and central sulcus. The lateral sulcus is on the side here. Mm -hmm. These are cerebral hemispheres. So, and the outer covering is a cerebral cortex. And you have to see a, a picture. It's about eight cell layers thick of cell bodies of neurons. And then below that's the white matter, the myelinated uh, axons and dendrites down below that. Okay, uh, cerebellum, these brown guys are the cerebellar hemispheres. So you have two uh, cerebral hemispheres and two cerebellar hemispheres. So when you look at from the side, this is the cerebrum, this is cerebellum. What's the uh, cerebral cortex? It's the outer covering. Okay. okay. About eight cell layers thick. You have a picture that shows it in your, in your lab, lab and lecture book. Here are the optic nerves, and when they appear to cross over in the middle is the optic chiasma. Where they appear to cross over in the middle, optic chiasma. Then you have the infundibulum, the stalk that holds the hypothesis. The mammillary bodies, you can see, if you take it apart, you can see them a little easier. That's the mammillary bodies, little bumps. You scratch the next one. That's what I tell. One day course, yeah, Peter, I'll just take that off. We don't need it. This is the pons or pons varioli. So this expands and then constricts. This is the medulla or medulla oblongata. And this is the spinal cord. The longitudinal fissure, or longitudinal cerebral fissure, is this one right here. And you have the frontal lobe, parietal lobes on the sides, temporal lobe down low where the temporal bone is, and occipital lobe in the back. We've already seen olfactory bulbs. Olfactory tracks. Optic tracks, when the optic nerves cross over and form the chiasma, when they come out of the chiasma, they go left and right as the optic tracks. So that's an optic track there. That's an optic track there. Okay. Okay. Oh, we want the internal too. Oh, you just said external.